What up everybody, this is LL and today I'm gonna to be doing a brief tutorial on how to revoke an access to a DAP that you have interacted with on the past. So maybe you have used an Ethereum DAP, Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, Arbitrum, Optimism, etc. Whatever it's a DEX or an NFT marketplace or just some type of scam smart contract that you accidentally interacted with, there is a way to basically revoke the access that that contract has to certain amount of your funds. So usually when we give app permissions to dApps, that allows them to basically control certain of our tokens or NFTs or other types of permissions that the, basically the wallet can give. So th there are a couple of these types of websites which basically allow you to revoke these accesses and revoke.cash is basically the best one and the most easiest one to basically use. And what we're gonna need to have obviously is a MetaMask or some type of other uh, Web3 wallet. And you're gonna be choosing obviously the chain that we're gonna be using here today. I'm gonna be using Polygon. Remember, there is going to be a gas fee by revoking uh, the access to contracts. Usually uh, this is a bit lower fee compared to approving the permission because it's just revoking it. So it's not so uh, technically uh, detailed uh, um, element. So we're gonna be connecting our wallet, whatever you're gonna be choosing. So I'm gonna be giving MetaMask and it automatically will add us to the uh, list depending on, well, what exactly, you know, we have currently on. So there's a lot of different blockchains supported here. Arbitrum, Optimism, Avalanche, Phantom, Kronos, Kava, Celo, Moonbeam. I mean, a lot of, and including all types of test nets. So yes, you have a lot of different options here to revoke access. And uh, sometimes you just wanna do it in case you have a lot of extra money lying around because you don't know if certain type of old smart contract might get hacked or some way. And that will basically allow some type of a, um, you know, exploit and exploitation angle uh, to happen. And yes, you can see there are some, you know, um, verified tokens here. And then there are some types of like, very weird ass tokens, which are just like, um, you know, like here we got multiple amounts of die, but these are different types of contracts. And usually uh, it lists out what type of smart contract this, not, not all of these are like, you know, uh, for example, here I have a smart contract, which just has a string of numbers, uh, I mean, letters and numbers. Um, so I don't know what this address is to. So um, as, as this moment, like, okay, I want to revoke this because I have no idea what this is. And you got to be, you know, hitting that revoke and then you're going to be paying basically the gas fee and this will be revoking uh, the thing. As I said, the fees, you know, vary obviously per blockchain. On Ethereum, it's obviously the highest and, and basically just going through that same category. And here is oh, usually um, when you trade, it asks you to give you unlimited permission. Nowadays, MetaMask will have some type of pop-out will ask you to give unlimited or just like the max amount that you have currently on your wallet, or you can put out a custom sum. So here you can like, okay, we got the flare token here. Well, let's actually have the USDC. So I have USDC here and there's like a 10 million or whatever was the number. And I'm gonna change it to five USDC. So, um, I can change out the allowance from unlimited to a specific number. So that's also very crucial. And that's basically how uh, easy it is. There's also filter styles here. So you can filter by uh, NFT or you can just use no filters and it will basically show you everything. There's all types of different things here like MetaMask, uh, user celebration. Okay, like what is it about um, and you know, there's a lot of things that you probably have interacted here. As you can see, like there are many, many, many different things. And I have probably no recollection of what these most mostly are. And then you can also see the things that don't have any allowances whatsoever as well. Um, and then obviously if you want to change the chain, you just click Arbitrum and actually you have to choose Arbitrum also here. Um, there's sometimes a bit of loading issues and then you can basically filter out uh, all of these that's just uh, another dad asking for permission. Um, so basically you're able to now see every chain and everything that you have basically uh, given allowance to. And this is how easy it is. And sometimes you just wanna go through um, the process of like looking, okay, what I have given allowances to. And maybe there's like an argument to be made that, okay, this is a kind of shady contract or they exit scammed already. So maybe you wanna like, if you know there's a smart contract that has stopped like, existing in terms of like the team abandoned it or something else like that's a security risk now i would basically go revoke that access uh, or change the allowance from unlimited to something else 
But I, this is a very brief video. I don't really have much else to add here. Um, obviously, before you interact with a certain types of smart contracts, there's always um, uh, a service which you can use, which we have talked about in uh, other videos of mine. So SolidScan basically can um, just uh, take any type of smart contract and basically just see whatever. Okay, this is running a quick scan here. Um, so basically you paste in the smart contract address and it will basically give you out uh, rating for that smart contract, whatever, how secure it is. Okay, right now it doesn't seem to be loading, but whatever. So um, that's basically the video up for today. And uh, if you have any questions about Revolve Cash or you have an uh, alternative recommendation for another similar site, I know there's a couple of these. This one seems to have most amount of chains. So that's why I decided to uh, feature one, this one out of the others. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will be you know, doing some other videos uh, upcoming soon. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Cheers.